What book did Nipsey give me to read? Uh, Message to the Black Man. My dad gave me, the first book he gave me was Autobiography of Malcolm X, reading that. And then that leading me into reading Message to the Black Man by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And Peace, everybody. So I just finished a book, Message to the Black Man in America by the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. So this is going to be a book review. Of course, I have read Message to the Black Man several times when it comes to just in and out. But as far as from cover to cover, first time. Ain't that wild? This book is so powerful because it really reflects everything we're going through right now. One of the main things that I took away from this book, Message to the Black Man in America, is the fact that we as a people really, really, really have to come together and pull our own resources, utilize all of our skills, talents, and assets, and start to build our own communities. The hood is not a community. The hood is literally sections that were placed for us, designated to us by people who control and who have money and who basically redline the cities and say, well, we're gonna designate this area for low income communities. So that's not an actual community it's an it's a hood it's it's a ghetto we need actual centers like how chinatown has an area that's designated for them they have their own chinese banks they have their own chinese schools they have their own chinese restaurants they have their own chinese grocery stores and they live amongst each other and that is considered chinatown we as a people need to start at least with those type of communities. And so that's one of the takeaways that I got from this magnificent book, which you can purchase on finalcall.com. And another takeaway that I got from the book was honoring the black woman and making sure that we always, uh, the men in particular, protect the black woman as if you were protecting a field that you use to create harvests and, and crops and food, the, the necessities of life. And so when you see weeds growing, you attack the weeds so that, you know, it doesn't choke out your, your produce or your food or whatever it is that you are growing. It's the same for the black woman. Like when you see the, there being an attack on black women and you see us feeling like, we're not protected and whatnot. It's truly because like we have to be dealt with in a way to show that you consider us valuable as well. And of course we have to consider ourselves valuable. We have to do better at making sure that we show that we care about ourselves as well. So that was another takeaway that I got from the book. Also, when it comes to black people and how we love, love, love white people, that's another takeaway that I got from the book is that we were made to love, love white people regardless to their fault, regardless to all of the torture that we've been under under them and we've been made this way through slavery through conditioning and through white supremacy and it teaching us that we are in an inferior people if you believe that you're an inferior people then you're going to beg to be with a superior which is why the most honorable elijah muhammad in this book was was and is totally against integration with your enemy. Because at the end of the day, if there is a people who you cannot live with in peace and harmony and justice, and it's been proven that you can't live amongst them um, with total justice for all of your people, then that means there has to be a separation that takes place where you create your own communities and you do for yourself and you police your own communities. And not like these cops that we um, that were trained under the enemy, but cops that are trained under us and trained to, to actually care about the community and wanna see it better and not abuse our community the way that our 
former slave masters have abused us in the past and the present. So that's another takeaway that I got um, is that we have a sick love for our enemies because of what we were taught in Christianity as to love our enemies and, and clothe them when they are beating you and hug them and turn the other cheek. And, and so all of that was taken out of context and, and used by the slave master in order to make us better slaves. So that's another takeaway that I got from the book. It's a really, really good book. Um, shout out to my reading partner, Sister Kayla. We did the whole month of January from cover to cover. So proud. And the next, we'll probably pick another book. Maybe Our Savior Has Arrived by the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And um, we're gonna go through the books and we're gonna, we're gonna keep on track. So that was just a really quick review. Um, at the end of the book, there's a letter from the KKK uh, chief. And, um, and that was really deep. It was really, really deep because unfortunately, he was saying some stuff that still applies to black people today when it comes to like, oh, you must think you're inferior because you push yourself on us all the time and you think you are inferior, but that's why you're always trying to mix with our people and, and you always make it the cover of magazines when you uh, marry one of our women. And you know, it was like, woo -wee. And then the messenger, of course, came back with rebuttals um as to like well no you your people are the ones always whistling and trying to get to our women because if you think that our women are so unattractive then why are you all constantly coming after our women raping our women um doing all manner of evil to our women but also trying to sweetheart with our women and whatnot it was a really good book i mean to sum it all up that's just a few 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 points of course there's also what to eat and, and all of these things and how your diet affects the way you think and how and how your love for your enemy is affecting the way you actually are productive for yourself and you always wanted to get a job by the enemy and instead of creating a job for yourself and it's just so many jewels. I didn't write this down, I'm just kind of saying it off the top of my head, but it was a, it was a lot of information and, and, and it's time for us to actually collectively come together and start buying land and start really, um, pulling our resources so that we can start truly improving. Integration did not help us at all. It did not improve us. If anything, it made us worse. As you can see how we now are acting on TV and all of these shows online and integration has only helped the enemy put money in their pockets because once we integrated into their society, we left all of our businesses to join their businesses because we thought that their ice was colder because we bought into the idea that they are superior. So we shut down our restaurants, we shut down our banks, we shut down this, shut down that, sold our companies to white companies just, just so we can get money and just so we can um, mingle with uh, our former slave masters so and their children. So we have this, this sickness in our minds that darker is less and and whiter is better and that's of course by design and that's how they actually trained our minds through subliminal messaging through the media through magazines through uh pop culture and american culture over the years and thank god now we are actually turning a new leaf and like starting to create beautiful books for our children black children to read that show representation and beautiful hair and curly hair and afros we have people like tabitha brown who are you know wearing their afro on shows and whatnot so we have um some things that are happening where it's turning around and bringing back black pride praise god but um we as a whole have bought into um, white supremacy at the end of the day it's time to now recalibrate and understand who we are as a people and let's do what it do to build a nation for us. Peace.